So now that I've kind of talked a little bit about the formats of the class, let's talk about the actual details of the class. And so it doesn't matter what type of section you sign up for, whether it's that traditional on-campus class, the flipped classroom hybrid that meets one day a week, or a fully online class, all sections of Photoshop uh, are heavily involved in using Canvas. And so before you get started, you need to log into Canvas, and there's so many ways to do that. I like to just type in slcc.instructure, I-N-S- I-N-S-T-R-U-C-T-U-R-E dot com and it will take you directly to Canvas or the Canvas homepage. It won't take you to our class, but it will show you where Canvas is. If you're not comfortable with that, you can also go to slcc.edu and then there's this My SLCC drop down menu in the middle of the screen and you can click on My SLCC, you can go to faculty staff, I guess if you were one of those, or you can hit Canvas which would then redirect you to that you can also log into your My SLCC, which is formerly my page, and from there you can access Canvas. Whichever way works for you, you just need to get to Canvas. When you get to Canvas, you're going to have to log in, and you will log in using your My SLCC name, username, and password, and so you'll enter that. If you update your My SLCC username and password, or I guess you can't really update the username, but if you change the password, it will automatically change for Canvas. And then last but not least, once you get to Canvas, you're kind of on the Canvas homepage or what they call the dashboard, you should automatically see our course. So I'm going to click on this Photoshop online dev because at the time that I'm recording this, uh, your semester has not started yet. And so I want to show you what it should look like um, because you don't have access to the actual course. You can change what classes appear on your dashboard if you don't like the ones that appear. If you go to this third tab here that says courses, you can choose a course or you can choose all courses. And then you can put a little star next to the ones you want to see and you can turn the star off on the ones that you don't. From the student perspective, I believe that it automatically updates every semester. So any of your old classes should automatically disappear from your dashboard and all of your new classes should automatically appear. But if for some reason it doesn't work or or the class never disappears and you want to get rid of it, uh, going to that courses tab is how you're going to make sure that happens. So once you get to Canvas, you need to find our course and click on it. So I'm going to choose this one right here that says Photoshop Online Dev. You'll click the one that has our semester. And then before I do anything else, I'm in teacher or instructor view right now. I'm going to put it in student view so that what you see on the screen is more accurately aligned to what you will see on your screen when you're logging in. I'm going to make the window a little bit bigger and you can ignore the bright pink magenta border that only appears when a teacher is in a course that should be editing and you're, you're viewing it in student view. It's, it's kind of trying to help me remember I can't edit right now. So once you get to Canvas and you navigate to the course, you should automatically be dropped into the Home tab. The Home tab is how you'll navigate the course in Canvas. And so what I've done is I've changed this home page for our class to be a visual home page that shows all of the coursework that we will complete throughout the semester. It's broken down into six modules and each module is broken down into chapters and different objectives. I'm not going to get involved in that right now, but I do want to make sure that you are aware that the home page is where you would navigate all of your coursework. There are so many ways to find things to click on in Canvas that I like to simplify it. And so when you're ready to do work, you just hit that home tab. 